Hey girl, looks like you need one more. Yeah, I bet you've heard that one before. So let's start with this. Uh, we're at the Phoenix Concert Theater, uh, 410 Sherburn Street, Toronto. Um, and I know that because I used to come to this place as a kid, gr well, growing up, seen so many bands play here, and uh, also live radio broadcasts and everything. It's a bit of a, you know, a historic venue in Toronto. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but you get in and it's kind of cool, right? Have you guys had a chance to do sound check yet? Uh, yep, yeah, we're all we're all checked up and ready to go. You're ready to go. Um, and so often, as as you know, probably even just about Ontario, a lot of people from the rest of Canada think that um, Ontario and Toronto specifically not con not not strong for country. Right? Yeah. Uh, sold out show tonight. Massive yeah. sold out. It's over capacity. All of that stuff. It's just insane. So, um, got to make you feel pretty good, right? Yeah, it is. And like, it's the same with us, you know, having grown up in, you know, just outside the GTA yeah. and stuff like that. Like the Phoenix, we, I'm sure we've all seen amazing bands here and we've all played here, you know, opening up for different acts and stuff like that. So, it's, it's crazy to see it, you know sold out like it is tonight like it's going to be rammed in there i can't wait it's a great venue i mean i've seen as i said a lot of great some of my favorite acts have played here and now country is taking over the phoenix it's yeah. so great Legit. I ain't seen we should ditch this crowd notice a bit of a shift even since you've come onto the scene about how the industry has changed in Canada and the way that uh, uh, you know of course there was always you know uh, I'm thinking about the last 20 25 years Paul Brant's Terry Clark's the Shania breaking out in the early 90s and stuff and, and they put Canadian country on the map but it just seems like um, we're as proud of our home homegrown artists now as we are about the artists that come from Nashville, that come from yeah. across mm -hmm. the states. You guys, can you see that shift? Did it happen? I, I was just saying, sure. like I, I know for me personally, whatever. It's it's really cool to see like, just how good the music is across the board, right? Like yeah. there, there used to be not used to be, but there, there are times I remember listening to the radio and being like, okay, you could tell maybe what might be Canadian versus yeah. American, and now you hear stuff, and it's just like across the board, it's mm -hmm. just as good. The production's fantastic and stuff, and it's really good and fantastic for us to see. Yeah, obviously, um, every musician step up their game and stuff, and for it to be kind of an even playing field. We've uh, been following you at least uh, back in the CMT days. We got to know each other and uh, um, seen the explosive growth of your fan base, <laughs> right? Truly, like yeah. it's something, you know? Um, uh, Lawn Chair Lazy, obviously a great calling card. Doing nothing too crazy. Just getting lawn chair lazy. It's the party of the year, sitting right here. Somebody built a, a huge fan base with that and you were able to kind of build on that with single after single yeah does it kind of freak you out now knowing like when you when you pay attention to advanced ticket sales and stuff just how much the i don't know the good well the good word has been spread about you guys and how people are anticipating seeing you live it i mean it's pretty crazy i mean like we went out in the spring with dean brody so like yeah. you, i mean and we did lots of meet and greets and stuff like that at those so you never but you never really like you're always in the back of your head you're like it's someone else's tour yeah do you know what i mean yeah but for this one it's like when they start selling out it's like this is the game on tour this is our tour and it's selling out yeah right all over the place and then we get there and they know every word to every song off the album not just the singles mm -hmm. and it's like even when we go to do these meet and greets the meet and greets sell out like the vip <laughs> yeah. experiences yeah. sell out and it's like yeah. oh man you don't realize like we should have charged more <laughs> <laughs> capitalism yeah. <laughs> yeah you kind of uh why do you think it was what do you think it was about your timing have you had a chance to look back at that yet i know it's early days uh, of it, but uh, the the, t the fact that the timing was right for you guys as a foursome, as a collective, to come together and do the music that you're doing. I, it's hard to answer, but like, if I had to be like honest, I think it's just like a relatability. Like, yeah. we don't really have any like, we wear just normal regular normal clothes. clothes. We do regular things. <laughs> like, we all had regular jobs, and we just grinded it out like a lot of people do when yeah. they're trying to make it. And I think just a lot of people can relate to that. So it's it's really cool, like, especially when we when we do do the meet and greets. Like James meets like a heck of a lot of farmers and stuff like yeah. that. And they love talking to them about it. like a good way to say that. Yeah. Heck of a lot of, heck heck of, a lot of, a lot of farmers. farmers. Yeah. So it, it's it's really good. So I think it's just maybe just relatable. I don't know. And yeah. I would say, I don't know. I yeah. still don't think it's fully set in too. Yeah. It's, it's like we did the Turk, the Dirks thing. We did the Keith thing. And obviously the, like this tour now, but I still think it'll be a couple months from now. We'll look back and be like, wow, like, that really happened. That was really cool. A headlining tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It did happen pretty quick, right? It did it ever. It's crazy. Yeah. Like the, the rapid growth is like insane. We're still trying to play catch up, you know, from the start. You don't even know.
Was there ever a day when you were kind of like, uh, we need to do longer sets and we need some more music and we need all of that stuff? Or did you have everything ready to go because you were playing together for a while? I mean, we, we've been playing together for so long yeah. that it's like, it, and we already had a system down because we were already playing like, you know, mm -hmm. every week pretty much all week, right? Yeah, like 445s, you know, four times a week. Somehow. Right. So it's like when we got into this, it was almost like, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just do it, you know, practice harder because you've got more time yeah. to do it, like yeah. do it better. And then it's like, you know, just insert, you know, bigger venues and it's at, you, you learn. Like if you already have like a base, it's a lot easier to learn stuff like that, I've found. You never you found yourself in the position where you had to play the hit song at the beginning and as the encore. No, exactly. You never, oh, <laughs> actually, uh, we, Corral. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Corral, we Did we do that? Yeah, at the oh, Corral. Yeah, the Corral. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it once a set. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, actually, at the Corral, when we were at the end there, it's like, we're doing 445s, we're playing launch here four times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But those days are long gone. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, what's the toughest part about it? Just getting used to probably like the constant like moving mm -hmm. like from place yeah. to place mm -hmm. and like trying to find a time for proper sleep and proper eating yeah. and yeah. health yeah. habit. Like, but like that's just, I guess that just goes with like traveling nonstop. Yeah. Like this summer when we were doing the American Radio Tour, we did 13 weeks straight of American Radio Tour. We did like 65 flights in 13 weeks. Yeah. So it's one, like... One week had seven, another week had six. Yeah, it was like oh, constant. Yeah. So like yeah. you're just... Yeah, you, you know, do laundry when you can, sleep when you can, eat when you can, and, and you know. Speaking of traveling, I guess one that I guess this is going out there for people to see. It's yeah. just like everyone's policy at the airport is different. It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. They all say, "Oh, you can't bring your guitar on." Yeah, you have to go to security. They got to fix that. Like they that, got That's right. <laughs> Some people. <laughs> We are reaching out, out right it's just reaching it's out to you. A, it's just such a ridiculous system when everyone has a different, like, no, that's not the policy. Oh, Any yes, airline is, partic in particular you'd like to single out and yell at? I wouldn't. Not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, but I know what burden. you're talking about. You're talking about security where some of them are like, take your iPads out, and the other ones are like, what are you doing? You don't have to take your iPads out. Yeah, and they, yeah. So they're like, well, oh. can we get some national consistency? Yeah, boots on or off? Connor's boots. Yeah, boots on or off. They're like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I took my shoes off. They're like, only one shoe off for this lane. <laughs> 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 I, haven't, I haven't been to that airport. The one shoe airport. I haven't been to that That's Colorado. That's Colorado. It's a freaky airport there. Very You know, you always look like you're having fun. And that's in anything that you do, whether you're in a music video or uh, in an interview or uh, on social media, uh, any of that stuff. You guys always kind of look like you're having a good time. Really and it, faking it. it yeah. all, no, 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 I know. Authenticity <laughs> is the key. And if you can fake that, you've got it made, right? But, um, but it sometimes, sometimes the tortured musician cool. thing, it can wear on people. Because I get it. Artists, sometimes artists are artists and they're a little bit tortured inside. But you guys just always look like you're having fun. So it looks like it's a gang that I would like to be a part we, of. We try know? really hard to like yeah. keep morale high and just goof yeah. around and not take ourselves too seriously. Because I think, like you said, like if you're like one of those tortured artists all the time, like you're just going to be tortured all the time. Yeah. So that'd be yeah. a pretty sad way to live. And I, and I think also, like, we're just absolutely appreciating the ride we've been given. Like, this is a dream that That's, no yeah. one in the band, for sure, no one pretty much ever gets to live and stuff. So for us to get the opportunity to just live it every day and, like, do things and play for people and, you know, inspire people and stuff is just crazy. I know the dream inspire. is probably always there. Whenever you, whenever you pick up an instrument, the dream is there. The dream is there of stadiums, <sighs> yeah. all of that stuff, right? Um, did you ever really think you'd get to this point with sold out tours? Did no. you ever really think it would happen? No. I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Do not, well, I, I mean, I guess just, it was just like, but that was, I guess was always the end game too. So it was like, you know. It's like, I hope so. We'll either yeah, get there or we're gonna, or we'll like die trying yeah. kind of thing is like, you know, intense as that sound is kind of the truth. Oh, I will, Cause I get chills when I see you on a Friday night Stepping out on my boat to the moon Life's so fine, you got time, I got time, girl Okay, we all know how successful Game On has been. Tell me a little bit about what's going on as far as new music goes. Um, I mean, we've been crazy on the road, but anytime yeah. we're not on the road, writing and recording is obviously a focus. And so we don't have like any hard set dates for, you know, a follow up or anything like that. But we have, you know, a, co a pretty good repertoire or collection of songs yeah. that we're trying to start to cipher through and But no down, nothing that you've played live yet? Yeah, we've got we've got a couple actually. We'll play a couple other than like we had the one single we released today, yeah, um, which we'll play live, and then we've got another couple in there that are new songs that weren't okay. on the EP. Mm -hmm. So 2018, new music out sometimes. Yeah, there will year. be for sure. Uh, um, favorite moment of the show? So favorite moment, favorite moment of the tour so far? I think we're seven, six or seven dates in. I think for me, it was actually seeing for the first time like 
girls crying in the audience when we play a certain song. It's, and it's not one of ours. Like. It's not one yeah. of ours. Spoiler alert. But it's like, it's, I like to make girls cry. No, but yeah, it's, it's, it's like that obsession. One Direction pandemonium <laughs> yeah. feeling, like the Bieber fever kind yeah. of feels like. So it kind Bieber of Bieber fever. You, when you're affecting people, first of all, you're bringing joy to them. They're out. They're having yeah. a great time. They're happy tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Uh, I think mine was just in Montreal, like Montreal, Quebec City, we yeah. did too. And just having them, like you do the meet and greets, they could, you know, very broken English and stuff. Yeah. And then when we went to play, it was every song, every word, they knew it and sang it louder than we were singing. Were they so appreciative that you went to Quebec? Because yeah, everybody doesn't yeah. do that, you know? Crazy crowd. Yeah. yeah. Like, crazy, crazy crowds. Some of our favorite shows have been like in Quebec and yeah. no. I don't think we'll ever skip out on it. If no. Choice. Amazing. Yeah. Good. Um, for me, it was probably, we played... Um, in Kingston, we played the Ale House, which we walked into, and it's like, man, like they no one has clearly dusted in that place for approximately 500 years. Like, it is definitely an old. It's the like, oldest building in Canada. Yeah, yeah, legit. Like it's like the Parliament buildings or something like that. <laughs> and so we go in there and we played that show, and those people were insane. Yeah. That was the craziest crowd. I think they I've don't need to for. dust. People show up and go crazy. Exactly. Why spend money on housekeeping? Yeah, yeah exactly. There's a washroom on. The stage. There was a literal washroom on legit. stage. Didn't you? You went in for a little guitar solo thing. Yeah, I went yeah, in the bathroom for the solo. Yeah, yeah, he walked in for a solo and just <laughs> came out later on. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Awesome. My favorite moment was actually the day before the tour started. We played a show in St. FX, and uh, the crowd was so out of control. James actually had to make an announcement and ask people to back <laughs> off the rail. Yeah. The security was getting crushed. And they booed James. The whole crowd booed James. <laughs> and I almost fell off the stool in the back That's laughing. The best. It was, so it was so out of control. <laughs> it was like, it was the third song, and they were like pushing it. I was like, man, I'm going to have to make an announcement. <laughs> we're giving him our money. His name's on the ticket. He's that guy, but I, we're still going to boo him. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's like, guys, guys, settle down. Guys, please calm down. I can literally see a security guard. He was like <laughs> <laughs> trying so hard to just hold on to life. And, and he like, was like 6'6", 240. Like, yeah. He was and then I saw him get a beer dumped on his head. <laughs> Yeah, he did. We talked to him after the show. He, we gave him some pizza, Great so he was happy. Uh, like I said, man, uh, the biggest appeal of you guys, uh, one of the things that I've always noticed is that you guys are always having fun. Uh, this is no different. Thank you for letting us do this. Thanks for, uh, thanks for catching up with you.